we were contacted by Bill Painter. He runs the Covered Bridge Festival and he works for them and they have a board and they were basically wanted to use this again. We're gonna re kind of rebuild it. This thing was built in 1985, it's due for some repairs. All the boards are starting to rot and everything needs replaced so they came to us and asked us to help them out and here we are. The process is we're staining them, we're doing the sides of staining them, letting them dry, then flipping them over. And then after the process is done, we get them cut. Basically the process is you, uh, you put the shim right here and you put it up against the board and you put the board up against it so it's all evenly spaced through here. You'll screw in one part and then you'll go to the side that's not screwed in and you'll level it up and make sure it's all squared. Working with this stuff, uh, it's kind of sharp. You gotta be careful. I think we'll be okay here, like this. I mean, it's not as heavy as shingle, but it's it, and it's gonna hold up better than shingle, so that's nice. For hurricane proof, it's harder to use, harder to cut. It feels good, you know, I mean, work something on this, something this old, and then be able to make it look like it is now. This looks great. The school did an outstanding job. These, these guys and girls at A-Tech Carpentry, and also the uh, PowerTech, PowerTech uh, team did the frame. They painted the wheels. I feel it is a good learning experience. We're working with the material, learning how to uh, use it. We got a special banner made up that uh, depicts the Morrison Foundation who gave us the funding for, for the restoration of the bridge and also the ATEC uh, logo on the banner. It feels good to make it look as good as it does now. From the beginning of it, it looked bad and to be able to make it look good, feels good. They, they made it happen, this is, this is really good. So once again, thanks so much ATEC.